Hey guys, good Saturday evening. We had a rough day today, but we figured we'll have a fire tonight. So it's about 8 o'clock. It's 47 degrees already. It's supposed to go down to 31 tonight, so it's going to be a chilly one out here tonight. And for those of you, well for all of you actually, it was one year ago tonight, just after midnight, that those 37 rocks were thrown into the river. For any of you that are new to the channel, Yes, there were 37 rocks thrown in the river last October 24th slash 25th. I got audio and video of it. Crappy video, but the audio is excellent. Go back and check it out if you haven't seen it. And here's hoping we get something tonight. Besides Goliath barking. Got a few of my kitties hanging out with me too. Mr. Casey, this is very much not like Mr. Casey. He's usually <laughs> off on his own, like hanging around over there or whatever. Hi, Casey. He's getting more friendly. And then we got Mr. Wizzy, Miss Lily. That's all I see for right now. Ozzy was here with me a minute ago. Pretty nice having him hang out like that. Well, guys, it's a little after 9 o'clock, and the moon's coming up over to our left. And it's 39 degrees already. It's chilly. But, this fire is keeping us nice and warm. But yes, it definitely, when it gets this cold for the first time, you can definitely notice it. But it is just calm and quiet tonight, so far. Hey guys, it's a little after 9 o'clock. Chilly 39 degrees already. And I am literally burning through the woods to keep a nice big fire going like this to keep us warm. I've already used probably 15 pieces of wood tonight. I've only been out here a little over an hour, I think. But it was a rough day today. As most of you now know, the house just seems kind of empty without Buffy here. That goofy ass dog made us laugh every day. She was just stupid happy. That's how we always described her. She was the sweetest dog in the world. Really I'm going to dig up some videos. Catitude saw the one video of her trying to get this big stick through the door. <laughs> Buffy, honey, it's not going to fit. It, it won't fit. It, it's six feet long, Buffy. You're not going to get that in the house. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know, sweetie, but it's just not going to fit. I'm sure we have some other videos that I can put together, and if I can find them all, I'll put them in this video as a tribute to Buffy, so you guys can all get a better look at her. I know you've seen her here and there, but never really got to see her personality, how it was. <laughs> oh, the prey walking. If her prey walking is something we'll never forget. Oh. Girl. Can you pray walk? No. Yes, you can pray walk. Still. You can pray walk. Pray walk. Good girl. I can still do that. I can still do that. What a happy Buffy. You are such a happy girl. Such a happy girl. Good girl, Buff. Just always with that big, just tongue lolling out of her mouth. Big, happy, smiling grin on her face. 
except today. She did not have that look on her face today. And we knew, Tracy knew last night, I knew this morning, she was just struggling to walk. She couldn't get up the steps to get on the bed anymore, and that was before all the seizures last night. Yeah, we were planning on calling the vet and getting her in to see what was going on, but there went that decision. Dr. Brenda at Poles explained everything to us. She had fluid on her lungs or in or around her heart. Something triggered all those seizures to start happening. We even doubled up her anti-seizure meds last night, and she still had seizures, so... She was just, she had that thousand mile stare look. <clears throat> yeah. Although she recognized us and still wagged her tail when you said her name, but that was about all she would do. Yeah, and when she was laying on the floor at the vet this morning, you could see how big her belly was. It was, she didn't look like that yesterday. Something, Dr. Brenda said she either had had a tumor on her liver or possibly a brain tumor, um, and very likely a brain tumor, because that would explain the stumbling when she walked and all of a sudden the seizure. Because she was quite old when she started having seizures, usually epilepsy, they're younger, but she was nine. So. And just over eight when she started having a seizure, right? Yeah, that we know of. Right. She will be missed, no doubt. You know, that video says it's from 2012, but I just don't see how that's possible. Because we got... God. We got... Could be. We got Lucy in 2012. That's when she was born, July 27th, 2012. And then we got Butchie in the spring after. And we got Buffy after that. I know the dates aren't always right on the videos and I, stuff. I think files. it was 2013, which means she was eight years old. There's so many dates bouncing around in my head, I can't make heads or tails of it, but I'll have to look back at some records. But she just, she was, she, usually when they have epilepsy, it's, they start younger. Yeah, it usually shows itself. Yeah. Like all the dogs I ever had that had seizures, they always had seizures. They didn't just suddenly start having seizures. Well, Dr. Brenda told us, you know, we can, she can take a listen. She said she really couldn't even hear her heart and her breathing very well because of all the fluid. And she said, you know, we can do test after test and poke and prod her, and we probably would have done all that and come to the same decision. So why put her through all that? Why would we do that to her? We appreciate all your guys' condolences, all your kind words. It means a lot. Yeah, well, you weren't in there at 8 o'clock when the reminder went off about it was time to give her a pill. I forgot about that. So guys, we're just going to hang out by the fire here tonight and try to keep warm. Boy, guys, it's now it's 35 degrees. I just got up. I had to go take a pee and went around the corner of the house, and there was Willow with a mouse. <laughs> so in the 10 minutes it took me to get the mouse away from her, holy crap, did the cold sink in. My ears got cold. My feet got cold. It is... Man, it's crazy, like I said, when you're not used to it. So we're going to we're gonna head in, but I'm going to leave my microphone outside, and I'm going to keep listening. Because the night the rocks were thrown, nothing, I didn't hear any activity till 11 o'clock or afterwards, and then the rocks themselves didn't get thrown until 12.20, so. So I'm just going to keep listening. What is that? Raccoon, maybe? I don't know. It's not a cat, is it? No, it's over there. Mm. No. 
Well, it could be a big cat. It could be a bobcat. Some weird noise coming from across the river. Something's not happy. So, but, alright guys, if I hear anything great, you'll hear it after this, or you shall see some Buffy video. Buffy! This is our poor little Buffa dog. She's got to go to the vet. Yeah. A couple nights ago. She's had seizures in the past a couple times, but the night before Christmas Eve, she had two seizures within just a few hours of each other. And Christmas Eve night, she had one. She hasn't had any since. But we need to see what's going on with her. Her coordination seems to be a little bit off, too. Yeah. She has a hard time walking up the steps to get on the bed. She's a... Hey. <laughs> Such a happy dog. It's so sad. It is. You can see her. Her body is that of a basset hound. But she looks like a golden retriever. And that's what she is. She's a basset hound golden retriever, but... I feel bad for my buff. We were girl. always worried that her body style was going to give her problems with her legs. And that may be coming true. Yeah. Sweet girl. Uh, really? She's still a good girl, though. Yes, she is. Yeah, she's my sweet girl. And there's a Buffy puppy, although she's about five years old. The Buffy puppy just kind of stuck. Buffy, can you pray walk? Can you pray walk? Can you pray walk? Pray walk. Pray walk. Pray walking. Hi. There she goes. Here comes the other puppy dog. Puffy! Butchie! Hi! Hi, Butchie. Hi, Buffy. Hi, Lucy. There they go. Happy dog. 